Well, snowmobilers are elated tonight to see snow on the ground, and conditions for them, well, they're just right. Supporters of a new bill at the Capitol say it aims to make the sport even safer. Our Ro Schmidt is live along Military Ridge State Trail in Verona to explain what the measure does. Rose? Yes, well, Wisconsin has more than 25,000 miles of snowmobile trails just like this one for riders to enjoy. But the state also has a high number of fatalities related to alcohol use. And a new measure is aiming to cut that down. If you've ever been lucky enough to see this view, you know there's nothing like it. I've been doing it since I was 15 years old. I mean, you got to do something with this stuff, so you might as well enjoy it. Sam Landis spends his vacations up north. You guessed it, snowmobiling. We haven't had this kind of snow for a couple years, and and uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's been great. And now his organization supports a law change he says will make things even more safe out on the trails. It's updating an old law. To meet current times. The measure comes out of concerns from law enforcement and would make drinking laws for snowmobiling similar to those of the road. State Senator Andre Jacques is co sponsoring it. Basically, it, it requires absolute sobriety for somebody under the age of 21 getting on a snowmobile after they've had drink, after they've been drinking. Jacques adds that people under 21 aren't supposed to be drinking anyway. It really is kind of standardizing across all different types of, of vehicles that you shouldn't be under 21 and getting behind the wheel. While the bill doesn't apply to people who are of the legal drinking age, he says it's just as important for them not to get on a snowmobile after drinking. For 21 and older, we still would have the same .08 standard as, uh, as applies to every other type of vehicle. That means club riders like Sam can hop on the trails and enjoy the days left with snow on the ground. We work hard to keep everything safe. Trails are open. We want everybody to enjoy them. The Department of Natural Resources says just last weekend there were four fatal incidents related to snowmobiling around the state. So if you're going to get trails just like this one, make sure you are staying sober and staying safe. And as for that bill, it has been referred to the Public Safety Committee in both houses at the Capitol. We'll continue to follow it. Thank you, Rose. Yesterday.